Welcome, one and all, to this true classic of an Underworlds battle report. The two very first antagonists of the first season have been given potent rival decks with the breakneck slaughter of Sigmos Chosen of the Steelhawk Champions, while the blood-crazed warriors of Korn in Garrix Reavers will let the blood flow via the void-cursed thralls. Let the battle begin. So you have the innate crit. Yeah, you win. Yeah. Okay, uh, So, uh, just uh, heads up then. Uh, Psyche is the one Void Cursed for being here mm. at the start of the game. So, let us know in the comments if we miss anything, obviously. Mm. So, do you want to go first or second? I think I will let you start. Alright, mm. yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go with Arnold. Mm. To there. And what is this madness you may say? Be brave. What do you want? <laughs> I want to kill you. <laughs> and since he doesn't get any nasty, like, furious parry inspired, I'm gonna attack your leader. My leader? Yeah. Have nothing, sir, but try to inspire, I guess. Yes, yeah, you do. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> so that's mm -hmm. my first activation. So, my first. I will hit with my uh, anger. Angarad, yeah. the lady. So three saw hammers. Yeah, you're gonna fail. Two hits. You're gonna kill me. Two damage. But I'm gonna play reshaping demise. Use this during an enemy fight's attack action after the deal damage step. If the target will be taken out of action, and I will, each fighter adjacent to the target is void cursed. Mm hmm. Huh. So you die. There was a <coughs> reason for the madness. Yes. So, him and her. And I choose Arnold rather than Torgor because Torgor inspires the two damage. Mm. And I score not fast enough. Yeah. Score is immediately if a friendly fights attack action, takes the target out of action, and that enemy fighter had one or more move and or charge. Mm. Um, for my second activation, I'll draw a power card. Mm. And I will. Uh, play Insensate, so I can only take one damage in the next activation. Yes. I would put uh, Standing Start on Obrin. So plus one move if you don't have a move shard, mm. and you get a momentum counter, I guess. Yeah. When you activate this fight, turn. Yeah, when you activate this fight, you give this fight one momentum counter. Okay. So my second then. Yes. I will do one, two, three. With a bright shield. Yep. yep. Mm -hmm. Make a short. And I get two hits. Two hits. Yep. Mm -hmm. oh, one damage then. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Daga. You can push me if you want. Mm -hmm. But I won't do but that. But I won't do that. Uh, well, actually, I do score. Uh, surrendered will score immediately after an opponent's activation step. If one or more enemy fights are void cursed. Yes. First glory. Moving mark. Mm. Uh, while this fighter has one or more move and or charge token, this fighter's defense characteristic is two shield and mm. this fight cannot be on guard. After this fighter's move action, give this fighter one momentum counter. Yeah, on bright shield. Yeah. Sure. I know they're quite easy to inspire, but... Yeah, yeah. Uh, I play a wary warrior on causes. Reaction after this fighter's activation. If this fighter is adjacent to one or more fighters, push this fighter one hex. After this push, this fighter cannot be adjacent to another fighter. And then I go one, two, three, four. And then I roll three swords. Mm. Uh, that's crit hit. Yep, but okay. Nothing. But you do roll the shield yes. for defense, so you will inspire. And I will yeah. push you there. Uh, two. Two. And I will also push myself, so I'm not adjacent to any. I will play Devastating Charge. Mm. Uh, choose a friendly fighter, give the chosen fighter two momentum counters. So it's plus one damage to that fighter's range one and range two attack actions mm. in the next activation step. Okay. So two momentum counters on Steelheart. Mm. 
I will make a short one, two, three, and four. Fun. <laughs> and I will try to do his mighty swing. Yeah. That do free damage now. Do your worst. Mm. Who, who do you want to start with? Yeah, I can start with him. Costs. Yes. So two. Damage. Hammers. Hammers. Nothing. Nothing. Different. And then we take the other one. Yeah. Spare. Crit. He's dead. He's dead. But I will play Squeech to <sighs> Halt. It is often activation step. Choose a friendly fighter with one or more momentum counters. Remove the chosen fighter's momentum counters. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna play Blood Offering on uh, Psych. Mm. Take a damage. <laughs> and I'll roll two extra dice and the next activation. So please, can this be a success? We charge the objective. This is my last one. Come on. Double, Double crit and a success. You can't defend it. And you're rolling red inspired. Yeah. Yeah. So it's uh, three damage. And then I'll push you there. And I'll score from that. Perfect mm -hmm. thrall for holding an objective with a Void Coast Fighter. And uh, also because I need to do a successful attack in that activation step. I think that's quite a steep objective to be fair. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's scored now anyway. Yep, so my last, yes. I will do one, two, three, four. Yeah. Uh, so two hammers. Sure. Nothing. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and I should uh, actually give him one momentum counter. Oh. When you activate this fighter. So I can push him then. I don't need to stagger you because it's the end of the round, so... Mm -hmm. And I'm not gonna give you an objective, so I'm gonna push you there. Mm -hmm. So then it's removed. Yes. Um, I'm gonna play Unthinking Aid mm -hmm. on Psyche. Reaction at the start of the round, choose a friendly fighter that's a leader, hunter, core, brawler, assassin, and or void cursed. Place this fighter in an empty hex adjacent to the chosen fighter. I could possibly put Garrick there and, and finish him off or something. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, yep. I score one lousy card mm -hmm. and ceasing imperatives. Scores an end phase if each surviving void cursed fighter for one or more warbands each have one or more. Move and or short tokens. Mm -hmm. So yeah, both our. I mean, you have two void curse fights, and both have yes. move and short, and I have one, and that one has a short. So yeah, I scored one goal for that. Uh, it's just a little something. I'm gonna get rid of innovating form and draw up. I score need for speed. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> These cards are so lame, like yeah. this one. Have a move on everyone. Uh, yeah, it's a boring card. And I. Think, right? I score eager for fight. I don't know. Score this in an end phase if each friendly fight has one or more short tokens. So that's two. Yeah. That's a silly card for them. <laughs> that's a really silly card for them. Uh, yeah, I put Living Hurricane on. So round two. Yeah. Oh. That's probably not what I needed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, alright then. Yeah, so I would do, not do any Void Cursing here, because there are a surviving uh, friendly Void Cursed fighter. Um, hmm. Mm. Should I maybe move... I can set the hold on that. So I actually move Garrick there. Mm. And then I break that cord. Mm. So my first activation, I will do... Charge! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Siding. Mm. So I will start with him. Start with Cossus? Mm. Sure. So two hammers. Hammers, nothing. Nothing. Mm. Then the next one. Yes. Nothing. Oof. Mm. That's pretty good. No, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna play Frenzy on Bloody Psyche. Blood, it's like so plus one on dice when I charge. Mm. Let's try them. We can go delete. Mm. So four. And this is then three hammers. One hammer only. Yeah, wow. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. So I will hit you back then. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. On my... Uh, Furious parry. Mm. Hmm. So my second... I will use her and try to... He was wounded, right? Yeah. Yeah. And try to kill him. Yeah. Crit. Crit. Yeah. You can have some of that. Mm. I'll take my second then. Mm. I'll short with causes. Mm. One, two, three. Single support. Two damage. Mm. That's beautiful. Then I'll play as a reaction. Skulls for the skull throne. Mm. Please, after friendly effects attack action that takes an enemy fight out of action, draw up to two power cards. Mm. Yes. Then I inspire. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I play Peel of a Thunder, choose an enemy fighter, and push them. One hex in any direction. <gasps> okay. I will play Battering Ram on uh, Aubrey. Then I will play Reckless Charge. Choose a friendly <laughs> fighter. <laughs> so plus one die to that fighter's range one and range two attack actions in the next activation step. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty much what I did versus the Sepulch Warden. I, I, I have nothing to counter, so, so you how, go ahead. How many moves do I have now? <laughs> enough. <laughs> I have six. I, you think you have enough to not need to be dependent yeah. on momentum counters to put me into yeah, these legs yeah. at least. You could probably just stand there. I can there, just so. push you. If, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. So I have six. <laughs> My third one. I will do one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Okay, when you activate this fighter, give this fighter one momentum counter. Sure. After this fighter's move action, give this fighter one momentum counter. Mm -hmm. mm. So I will try to hit you with three... Seems like a sensible thing to do. Yeah. Three... Three points. hammers, three damage. Mm. Yeah. Because of that one, they are extra dice. Yeah. Knock back. <laughs> You Come on, hammers. One. It's enough anyway, so. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Uh, but if you do that, you can't give away your momentum counter front. Or when does that happen? Which one? Oh, uh, it's yeah. oh. probably better to give me the momentum counters than to push me. Yeah. Because after the deal damage step... You don't this, have to drive back if you don't want to, so... No, so I give you the momentum counter. Yeah, and then you and push then me. You yeah, 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 yeah. So, no matter how, you are dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think it's, it's going to be hard to come around, <laughs> that fact. Yeah, yeah. I will uh, salvage Grizzly Trophy. In my third, and I'll, I'll just use him. Which one? Him. Okay. Yeah, with the Shane Dax, okay. range two, three swords. Uh, one sword. Yeah, so, so he's dead. Mm. Yeah, that's one glory. I should have scored one before. Crashing assault. Uh, score is immediately after an activation step in which a friendly fighter with three or more momentum counters made one or more successful attack. Yeah, you should have done that before, so yeah. take that one. Yeah, sure. Yeah, fine. That's fine. Thank you, sir. We are friendly in this game. Yeah, 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 yeah. So on my last activation then, Mm -hmm. I can't do anything, so I will just take a power card. Yep, and for my last activation I'll take another power card. So you score first? I score yeah. Consecrated Area. Score is in an end phase if there are no <laughs> enemy <laughs> fighters adjacent. Seems to be to the case, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I score that one at least. And then I score Rapid Strike. Score is an enemy phase if the number of enemy fighters are out of action equal to or greater than the round number. Yeah. <laughs> so that's two. Swarm of them. Yes, I am gonna score. Uh, actually, Corn cares not because there are five dead fighters. Mm? 
He doesn't care. Yeah, he doesn't care much. As long as you die. As long as you die. He, he doesn't judge. No, that's good. <laughs> I will also score uh, uncounted costs for there being four or more fights out of action and two or more of those fights being void cursed. Which is your two fighters. Mm-hmm. And that's two more. We'll put Berserk Charge on Psyche. Yeah, so I have successes on both symbols mm-hmm. when I charge. And I also roll one extra dice with the Frenzy. Round three. Roll it. Okay. <laughs> Come on, battering ram with 5,000 move. <laughs> I will let you start. Okay. Sure. We'll make a short with Psyche then. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, and roll the extra dice. Uh, so three hammers with cleave. Uh, and I have successes on both symbols. Uh, one success only though. But I have cleave, so you need to roll quit. No. So that's three damage. Yeah, but I... Yeah. Sadly, I will kill you now, though. Unbearable energies. Choose an enemy fighter adjacent to one or more void curse fighter. Steal one damage to the chosen fighter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. I will throw out of control. Yeah. So I'm going to go with uh, courses. One, two, three, four, five. And take damage. I will so. take lightning strike and ditch that one. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to take my third. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, dead. So we get glory. Mm. Yeah, so that's my third. And then just to be safe, I'm going to play uh, involuntary advance and push him <laughs> from the little <laughs> axe. <laughs> so C scrown is discarded. Yeah. Okay. My fourth. Uh, I'm going to discard blood for the blood guard and draw that a little bit too late. Uh, yeah, I'm actually going to score this card. Uh, it's immediate tipping points, which means often activation tip. If there are more surviving void curse fighters than surviving fights that are not void curse, mm. yeah, so that's scored. Good for you. Uh, that's my last activation. Mm. So my last activation. Yeah. Let's see. You have two health left, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> I can't score anything, I can't play anything, plays off an attack, plays off the fight, uh, friendly giver shows a fight, no. End of the game. Yeah. Alright, yeah. yeah. Um, since then, uh, Psyche is void cursed and the only surviving lead uh, fighter, I'm gonna score reshaped realm for four glory. Yeah, of course you. But will. I am gonna score it begins as well. At least one fight from each warband is out of action, so that's five more glory. So that's eleven, sixteen. Mm. Yeah. And you. Well, yeah, so we are gonna say also, also up front. We had a game previous to this one mm-hmm. in which Matthias actually just crushed me so entirely that we gave up in the second round. He yeah. was ahead in like I think 12 14 to 2 or something. And I was down to my last fighter, and it wasn't even a good fighter, so we just called it. So, in no way, shape, or form is the deck for the Steel Lodge Champions bad here. It, no, it seems it's not. to work very well. Uh, but obviously it was a mistake there to let me take that first activation. Mm. Um, you didn't know that I had that pin card, obviously. No. So you probably had a good reason to do it. It's always not very nice to be having to charge in the first activation, but yeah. But I can say like this, I even if I started, I don't think I would have won. I, pr- I probably would have killed you anyway. Maybe I would have had more problems though scoring that 4 glory search yeah. uh, and face card. Uh, so it would have been way closer. Um, so I think it is a really fun matchup, this one. Yeah, it was. So Garrix with, with Void Cursed and Steel Hots with Breaking Slaughter is a really fun matchup. I think it's also ideal because these decks are quite technical. So it's good to have warbands that are not that technical mm. to pair them with because it's so much stuff to remember with the Impetus and the Void Cursing and the No Pushback and the Change of Defense dice. So it, it's it's I think it's a blessing to have easier warbands when you try these uh, decks out. Yeah. So yeah, really enjoy the, uh, these two games. Maybe the yeah. second one slightly more than the first one. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the first one wasn't. Yeah, well, it was fun for me, but it, even if you, nah, it even if, if even if you win, it's not fun to no. have games like that. It's it's like you feel bad for like yeah. crushing your opponents. I had a, an attack with Garrick that could have gotten me into the game. 
I had four hammers versus Oberyn. I rolled three hammers and mm. then you rolled a single crit and then it was just like... This. Yeah. <laughs> and you just crushed me and you killed everything. So, uh, so yeah, uh, there was no point playing that game to completion. So, so uh, just because I won here, uh, this is a very good matchup. Mm. Um, yeah, always love revisiting these old uh, warbands. Do we um, so we don't forget. Yeah, so make sure to sh yeah, yeah. So make <laughs> sure to check uh, out the uh, the deck building series that I did with the uh, Nemesis matchmaking part one, which includes these two decks and, and the way and why I built them uh, the way I did. So yeah, um, take care. Take care. Bye. Bye. This is Mats again, chiming in to thank you for watching the video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and comment, and to not miss out on future content, ring the bell as well. And if you really liked this video, feel free to click the thanks button just below this video. And if you want to support me even further, you can now become a channel member and claim the title of Critical Focus Fan. Until next time, take care, bye.